some bags and we headed west Thought that it might be the best thing for us I was thinking about me And all the things that you'd leave behind Family and a peace of mind And I, I, I got you I am gonna love you till the stars go out Shelter up above you till they all fall down We ain't got light, we got love We ain't got light, we got love going to Astoria. Last night we watched the Goonies movie and so today we're gonna check out some of the film locations and our campground is doing a little giveaway. If you go to all the filming locations they will give you a little prize. So we're gonna try to complete them and we're also doing more in Astoria and we'll bring you with us. It's one-eyed Willie. It's a little dark. Wait, let me shine the light on him. See him? Yeah. This is the part where the Vitelli was pretending to hang himself. <laughs> what are you doing here? Trust your dear old mother, boys. Throw her in a four-wheel drive and hold on to your hats. So we are here at the Goonies Museum in Astoria, Oregon, and this is the scene where they lit the courthouse fire around the courthouse, and the Fratellis were sitting in this car right here, in the Jeep. Mm -hmm. so. And it's really cool. You could do filming in there and pretend like you're in a film, and they'll send you the film in, a, in about a week, so we'll add it to our video. Anyway, we're going to go check out more Goonies stuff, and we'll bring you with us. See you there. So we are here in Astoria at the Flavel Mansion, erected 1883. And this was a central fixture of the Goonies movie as well. Yeah, it, it was when the Goonies were going down the hill, they were actually going to try to find uh, One-Eyed Willie. And also, Mikey's father worked here as a museum coordinator. And this is a beautiful mansion. It's really, br Apart really pretty. Apart from the movie, it's just beautiful. Also, it overlooks the water, so yeah. it's just gorgeous. I can't imagine going up there and seeing the water. Oh, it's gorgeous. And hopefully I said it right. I think it's Flavel. And you could also visit this museum. We're not going to do it today. We already have too much planned, but it looks like a cool place to visit. So Definitely. come check it out. Check it out. So that's Mouse House. His house was only featured in the movie for a brief second, but still we had to check it out. On to the next.
So where we just crossed was in the scene where Rosalita, the housekeeper, was crossing when the Fratellis were riding down the road, speeding, and the cops were chasing them. That is where we just crossed. And Does it count if we almost get run over? <laughs> and they have a little coffee shop called Astoria Coffee, so we both got coffee, I got ice, Joe got hot coffee, and we're just gonna go check out the water. So this is the bowling alley where Chunk saw the Fratelli's car chase and spilled his milkshake all over the front window. And his pizza and spread his and pizza in the yeah, window. This yeah. is where it happened, right here. Yeah. We're actually gonna do some bowling because they actually have pretty reasonable bowling prices here. So. Yeah, it's like four bucks or something? Yeah, so we're gonna give it a try. Let's see, it's odd. my butt again I'm at 68 but I got a strike and he's at 113 and he got a spare so I'm not catching up if I can't kick her butt in fishing at least I'll do it in bowling I'm gonna be under a lot of pressure. <laughs> 124 is 113. Ah, oh, you might get it though. So we have three times to do it or just one? No, just one, huh? Eight? Oh, I thought it was nine. I might win here, the pressure is on. Can you do this? Does he have what it takes to do this? <laughs> I don't know, it's gonna be close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think he got it. Oh! Damn. You still won now. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Good job. Good game. Good game. <laughs> That was actually a good game for Bird of West. And a lot of fun and super cheap. So if you're in the area, come check this place out. Really cheap. Eight huge canneries just on the lower Columbia River. Back in the heyday, the late 1800s, early 1900s, we were the salmon capital of the world. And these canneries were working 24 hours a day canning that salmon. When the salmon ran out in the 1940s, there was tuna to be canned, and so we went right into the tuna industry.
So guys, we just went on the trolley. I'd highly recommend it, it's only a dollar. And they really do tell you the whole history of Astoria. So, I mean, you're getting a dollar tour of Astoria. You can't beat it. I don't know, it. you can't beat it, you just can't. And if you wanna ride on it all day, you can pay $2. And it has that old 1930s, 20s charm. Yeah. It's, it's built in the 19, early 1900s. Yep. So now we are on Pier 39 and we're bringing it with us. See you there. What do you think about the museum? It's a step back in time and it is awesome. And it's free. If it's free, it's me. <laughs> it's a salmon. Yep. Why didn't we catch one that it's big? It's even bigger than that. So we are at Fort George Brewery here in Astoria, Washington, and we have two IPAs coming up. Mine's at 7% West Coast, and Sharon's is at 8% Hazy West Coast. Double IPA. Woohoo! These West Coast IPAs here in Washington State. Oregon. <laughs> These West Coast IPAs here in Oregon are amazing. There's something that they do, I don't know what it is, but it's it's mild, you can still taste the hop though. Super good. I have the hazy. This is called Love Sex. It's really good though. Really, really delicious. And we ordered some kids meals for us because it didn't say you had to be a kid. And how to save some money. They were getting kids meals. <laughs> kids meals and beer. She's so smart. <laughs> How's your fish and chip? Tender and flaky. Very good. Just a little treat. Mm -hmm. And I just So there's my first starfish. So cool. Oh, actually, I could probably get to that one. Cold water, guys. Cold water. Look how pretty. Look how many starfish there are. All the mussels. What are these things right here? I don't know what they are. There's some kind of sea urchin. Yeah. He died. The bottom's not moving? No. I don't think he's dead. No? Did no. I put him on a rock? Back you want this? I'm in my glory. Look at all these orange ones. And the giant purple one.
We found three CN dollars already. So guys, we finished another pretty difficult hike. Um, it's a great path, like the path is really uh, maintained and everything like that, but it's completely straight up the whole entire time. And so it was pretty difficult. We were pretty shocked, but we did it. And now it should be all downhill from here. And we made it to the Telemook Lighthouse, but I don't know if you can really see it, but it's right there. The bonus of this trail is you can pick fresh berries. Yeah. Over here, you want to look. Which ones are the ripe ones? As long as they're dark in color. So the, it doesn't yeah. matter, red or? Red or black. Probably eating these berries. How is it? They are good. Tart and a little bit sweet. Oh, a nice handful. Cool. What do you think of the hike? It's, I have no words, it's amazing. We were just walking and walking and then all of a sudden we see this beautiful ocean view. Oh man, it's so pretty. Wow. Oh my God. Holy cow. Now that is spectacular. Holy cow. Wow, this is so beautiful. So we are now at the part where they film the Goonies and also Kindergarten Cop. So it's pretty cool. You can see Haystack Rock from here. So we really had a great time at Acola State Park and we highly recommend it. And now we are off to a brewery, of course. Of course. See you there. We're a little sad that we didn't get to see the puffins, yep. but we will be back on our way to Alaska. So we will stop to try to see if we can see them. We are at Pelican Brewing Company, and I got the red ale, right? Mm -hmm. Imperial Imperial Red Ale. Mm -hmm. And what did you get? I got the Haze Stack IPA. Yeah. They're both eight percent. So, cheers. Cheers. They're good. Well, mine's good. Let me taste yours. Oh, that one's good too. Both excellent. Yep. We're getting a little tired, but we really, really want to see the sunset over Haystack Rock. So we've been in this area since 530 and we've stuck around and Joe and I are definitely getting tired, but it is already eight o'clock, so we have this. We're gonna stick around, we're gonna see the sunset, Joe's gonna fly the drone, and we're gonna show you our amazing views. It's gonna be awesome. Yep, stick around. See you there.
had a great time visiting the Goonies film locations and Astoria, Oregon. Join us next week as we visit another beach town in Washington. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching. See you next Sunday.